That wouldn't have happened if it was fucking Big Bad Bob from the 1900s, vest wearing Kelly. God, I want a vest so, if I wear a vest now, I look like I'm waiting table somewhere at a fucking high-end steakhouse. What's up, I'm Bobby Kelly, Robert Kelly, Sexy Bob, Puerto Rican Bob, and then just fucking six fat Robert. I'm here to answer the fucking internet. If you could wipe one group of people off the earth, who would it be? I mean, Jesus, that, I could end my career right now. There's a few, there's a fucking few. Okay, I am gonna do this. Grown men who ride bicycles that their feet click into the fucking, yeah, let's and, they, go, and they have the fucking outfit. If you have the, I don't care if you have the bike and you're right. If you have the outfit and that dumb, thin hat that has no, it has no, I don't even know what the, it's just like a painter's hat with the kangaroo pocket in the back and it has some type of sponsor that doesn't know you. They don't even know you're wearing their shit or they would tell you to take it off. I would love for you to be wiped off the fucking planet, but not in one swoop, by trucks, individually, all day long. Would you rather everyone be naked all the time or clothed all the time? I'd rather everybody be naked so they could get used to the size of my penis and it wouldn't shock girls when they saw it. They go, like, oh, all right, I get it. A little tiny sucker. It's a grower, not a shower. How much money would it take for you to streak on the field at the fucking $20 million? For me to streak on the field at an NFL game, it would take a lot. First of all, I've gained probably 60 pounds in the pandemic. So the, what, the, my, the bush fat, like where my pubes are, the bush fat has literally like a volcano lava have taken over the beach. I literally shower, if my wife comes in the shower, I turn. Because I, I, I know I'll get it back, I'm gonna get it back, I'll be back. I'll be back, but not right now. Right now, as I stand today, it would take $20 million and you would never see me again on anything. I'd do fucking poetry in New Hampshire. Who is the worst group of fans? Shit, mine. <laughs> They're fucking mean. They're evil. They fucking call me bad names. I remember I was doing this Ask Anything on Reddit for J JFL, and they stopped it. The lady stopped, she goes, I want to, this is so mean. I go, it's my fans. They're fucking mean assholes. Would you rather watch, A, only softcore porn for the rest of your life? I'm almost back at that where it really does something for me. B, only minor league sports for the rest of your life. I would, ra I, I'm actually, I would say porn. Because I'm such a fucking creep that like story does it for me now. I like when they talk and that and then the like a half of areola comes out and like Lady Chatterley. I'm fucking into that. You don't know Lady Chatterley? Oh my god. Dude, it was HBO back in the 80s when they first started showing they would show her her muff, right? I think that's what you call it, because it's muffy. And you know, the kid would, you know, uh, and then, you know, they would do some stuff and then it would just cut and they'd be eating breakfast. So, Garrett, you know. So yeah, porn, softcore porn, fuck it, absolutely. Would you rather be filthy rich in the in 1990s or poor now? No, 1900s. 1900s, sorry. You know, that's the biggest fear about these things when you watch people, hey, read this, that you're gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Nick Cannon, yeah, yeah. he didn't have it, really? That's fucked up. <laughs> that's a fucked up fun fact, man. <laughs> Just found out somebody who's a multimillionaire owns Radio Shack, can't read. This fucking country's awesome. This country's the shit. All right, a, a guy who can't read owns fucking Radio Shack and is the fucking on a host of everything and in a great movie, Drumline. Would you rather be filthy rich in the 1900s or poor now? Dude, I would rather be filthy fucking rich in the 1900s. Are you out of your mind? I would be fucking filthy rich in the 19. I'd have a vest. I'd have a hat. A fucking fucking cigar. No, not like then. Not like then. They don't make hats and vests the way they used to in the 1900s. I'd have horses. I'd have my own horse, but it'd have like gold. I'd have fucking, oh, fucking six shooters. I'd have fucking six shooters. I'd have a fucking all dudes around me, which is black. They'd all have black hats, black horses, black everything. And I would have fucking smoking. I'd own a whorehouse, a bar, 
I don't fucking ever, oh my God, the 1900s? It was fucking, I mean, you could do whatever the fuck you want. That was the shit back then. You could fucking kill, dude, you could get into an argument with somebody and go, I don't like the fucking cut of your jib. <laughs> Boom. And then walk out and people are like, make way. Now I had to fucking move to fucking Westchester so I had to fight with a homeless guy. That wouldn't have happened if it was fucking Big Bad Bob from the 1900s, vest wearing Kelly. God, I want a vest so, if I wear a vest now, I look like I'm waiting table somewhere at a fucking high-end steakhouse. If you were murdered, would you be the most likely suspect? Who would be the, I know, I know. Don't fuck, all right, relax, I fucking, I'm getting a little nervous with this one. I would say it would have to be my wife. Because I secretly think she's a lesbian and she wants nothing to do with me and she's plotting this as we speak. But I fucked it up by not becoming so successful as she thought I was and uh, I fucked up her plan. So she's waiting for me to get one more hit, one more show, one more thing, make that money and then You'll find Tubbo in a batho in his own shitto. She'll kill me, and then she'll move on with her life with a nice, nice middle-aged chick with gray hair, and they can get cats, fucking plants, and move into the tiny house I just bought her. So there you go. That's my wife. If I die, make sure you fucking get that broad, because she did it. If you could have an endless supply of anything, what would it be? Rice. I don't know. It's weird. I love rice. <laughs> Sorry, I was just... Supposed to go, supposed to go fucking dirty, I know, but it's just, I love rice, and I'm fat, and I can't eat rice. They tell me I can't have rice, so I would just love... You can't have rice? Nah, shut up, skinny, all right? <laughs> I just, I'm not supposed to have rice because I'm chubby. Chubby people aren't supposed to have carbs. Rice is a big one. I love rice. I'm a big rice, I'm a big rice person. Would you rather relive your best sports moment or your best sex moment? Best sex moment? What the fuck was that? I gotta think of my, because I know my best sports moment. My best sports, sports moment was West Medford Hillside uh, Championship. Hillside won 10 years in a row, baseball. Fly ball left field, I ran in, slid on my knees, grabbed it, made the catch for West Medford to win the championship for the first time in 10 years. The whole team, I was like, oh my God, it was the best day of my life. And uh, the whole team pig piled on me and I have a fear, I'm claustrophobic. So I panicked and I just started screaming, get off me, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And it was fucking humiliating. They had to drag kids, it went from this beautiful moment to this, this kid was dying. And I was just crying, holding a root beer, walking home alone, because I didn't have a father at that time and my mom was working. It was just me crying with boogers. <laughs> I just couldn't breathe. Best one? That was my best one, yeah. <laughs> Sex is great, but not like that. How much money would it take for you to strangle a puppy? Yeah, around 11.50. I can't, you know what, I gotta say this. I wouldn't be able to kill a puppy. And it all goes back to Patrice O'Neill's joke. I don't know if you ever heard it. Puppies have eyebrows. Remember Patrice's joke? He was talking about people who kill puppies to eat, and he's like, ah, man, they got eyebrows. They can, they can make a sad... F <laughs> he's, it was one of the funniest jokes ever. He goes... He goes, I think I'm killing it, but he goes, I can kill a fish in a second because they're just like, <laughs> even when they're dead, they have no eyebrows. He said the eyebrows. So I kind of agree with Patrice O'Neill. Uh, God bless his soul. I would never be able to strangle a puppy. No way. Would you rather wake up to a blowjob? Yes. Or $100 on your, come on, son. A blowjob? Now, I didn't have to go through the process of her getting it bigger. Like it was just big. Like she was just blowing me. Yeah. I don't have to go through the embarrassment. No, it gets bigger. You just, hang on, let me just think. It's 100 bucks, you can't even get a good massage. I would say 10,000. But I love head. It's such a good thing, isn't it? And it sets you off in the right way. You don't have any of that evil in you. A blowjob is fucking one of the greatest things. That and a fucking, like a Brazilian buffet where you flip the card over and they just keep bringing meat. I don't know if there's anything better. If I were in the 1900s, own one of those steakhouses and have a chick blow me every morning before coffee, I fucking, yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, click here to subscribe so that you get all the new episodes as they come out. And John, what should they click if they want notifications? Make sure you click thumbs up for the like, hit that bell icon.